This is today game plan. Client PC connected to the network with IP 192.168.1.50. Active Directory connect with IP 192.168.10 and ESXi management IP is 192.168.101. Based vCenter IP is 192.168.1.23. The subnet mask is 24 and default gateway is 192.168.1. Welcome to Global Technology Options. Make sure that you have taken a vCenter server backup before you begin. VMware Migration Assistant should run in the Windows based vCenter server and VCSA should mount on the client PC. Let's join with Screencast. First of all, run the Migration Assistance. Remember that, the running of the Migration Assistance in the Windows VM where the vCenter installation has completed. Next enter the vCenter single sign-on password. Now mount the VCSA ISO, while migration assistance being ready. In this lab, we use the UI installer. Now run the installer in the Win32 folder. Four installation options can be seen in the very first interface. In this lab, we convert the Windows Base vCenter to VCSA. Therefore select the Migrate option. Once you click Migrate, you will come to an introduction interface. The script is still being extracting by the migration assistance. When you click Next on the introduction page, you will be able to see the license agreement. Accept it and click Next. Now insert the source vCenter server in and single sign on credentials. Before moving to the next step, verify whether the Migrate Assistance Extract is completed. Don't go for the next step, until the extract is over. Fine, now Migrate Assistance Extract is being completed. We can click Next, verify the thumbprint and, press Next. Within this interface, you need to provide target ESXi host details. This meant to be the details of the ESXi, which hope to deploy the new vCenter appliance. When you press next, you will receive a certificate warning. Then simply click yes. Within this interface, set a name and a password for the newly deploying vCenter. You can now select the deployment size. Select the deployment size according to your requirement. Also the following table contains required details. According to my preference, I'm selecting the deployment size as tiny. After that, you have to select the data store with thin provisioning and click Next. The network configuration is given into the newly deployed vCenter within this interface. In here, we need to have a temporary IP in the same network.
now I'm giving the relevant details, that suits my VMware environment and, then click next. Then we see a summary of stage 1 configurations. Once you have verified, click the finish button. It takes some time to complete this stage. Now, a new vCenter appliance is being deployed using the given temporary IP address. Please note that, the right side interface contains an RDP session relate to the Windows vCenter server. Stage 1 has completed. Then, it goes to Stage 2, once you have continued. Now you will see the introduction page for Stage 2. The system will take some time to copy log files, from migration assistance to the remote host. Please provide the credentials of the Active Directory now. Then you have to select, which data should copy into the newly deployed VCSA from the old Windows-based vCenter server. According to my requirement, I'm selecting to copy all the configurations and historical data into the new vCSA. If you prefer, you can join the CEIP. So this the summary for Stage 2. Now check and verify the details and click the Finish button. As I told in the beginning, VMware remind to get a backup in the old vCenter. After you acknowledge and click the finish button. Another warning is appearing right here. The meaning of it is within the process, the old vCenter is getting shut down. This process takes some time.
Now it is visible, that the right hand side session is disconnected, which means the old V center has shut down. It is clear that, we only see messages in this interface. Pay more attention when appearing warnings or alerts. Mind deployment is successful now. Let's log in to the ESXi host first. Groups. Now it is visible enough that, the old vCenter has gone down and the new vCenter has powered up. Let's log in to the vCSA. Finally we'll log into the vCenter. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch, like, 
and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.